So I made this witch a few years ago after finding it on Pinterest and I wanna show you guys how to recreate it. So the most important thing when picking out a pumpkin is the stem because this is gonna be the nose. You wanna look at pumpkins from the side and if it has a good witch's nose. So now you're just gonna paint on a really thick coat and wait until it dries before you determine if that color is right for you or not. Take a little bit of the green paint and add just a tiny bit of water. And we're just gonna dab this on. That way you can still see some of the under color and you can see that it's all like spotted and different colors and like, you know, an ugly witch nose. I'm gonna start painting the eyes and you wanna do like a downward angle so it makes the witch look more evil and then just do little slashes for the eyebrows. Then when you're doing the mouth, you wanna do your outline first, then add the teeth and then fill in the rest of the mouth because the teeth may not show up as white if you try to go over top of the black. Then I'm adding a red outline for lips because I think it looks kind of weird without it. And then the last thing is just to add in the eyeballs. We need to paint our eraser so it's our little wart. So um, I'm just putting this on some newspaper. There's really no way for you to not get your hands like covered in this stuff. Um, it's just so tiny but just uh, figure out a way to get it completely painted black and then we're gonna let it dry and then we'll glue it on. So I'm just applying a little bit, a tiny bit to this and then we're gonna put it right there. Now we need to add the last thing, which is the stockings. Just make sure you do glue down the hat and the wig and stuff because with the wind coming, it will just blow everything away. This is just a cute little idea that you can do if you don't want to carve a pumpkin, but you would rather paint it. Um, it will take you about an hour with dry time and everything. 